Hey, this is PJ with CLK Supplies. And the Abus 83 series padlocks are one of the most popular padlocks in the industry today. But there's a little known kit that you can purchase with for these that really changes everything and kind of to me opens up a whole new world of options. Now, these padlocks have become really popular for three main reasons. One, you can change out the shackle size really at will. You can make these key retaining or non-key retaining. And the amount of cylinders available to key up to the OEM specs for that particular manufacturer make these really handy to keep around. But the kit I wanna show you is going to allow you to take any key and knob cylinder like the GMS K001 cylinders or the Ilco 15995 cylinders and put them and use them inside of these Avis padlocks. Let me zoom in the camera and I'll show you the kit. All right, now this little key and knob kit right here, you can get it in one of two ways. You can actually purchase um, the 83 series padlock with it, which is what this kit right here is. I just uh, took it out of the box. Or you can purchase this little kit individually and it's really inexpensive. Now, in the notes below, I'll put a link to both of these, both the padlock with the key and knob cylinder and then also this key and knob, cylinder, this key and knob kit separately. But before we uh, get into actually putting them together, let me just show you what it comes with. So it's gonna come with um, this part here. This is where you're gonna put you know, the Bible of the key and knob cylinder. You're gonna put it in and then this is what goes in. Like there's your little screw that you use to hold that whole cylinder into place, okay? And that's gonna be the front what you're gonna be able to see. Now it's gonna come with a couple of different little tail pieces here. It's gonna come with three different ones, all right? So this is gonna be the standard one. If you're going to be using um, a K001 cylinder or the Ilco 15 you know, or 15995 cylinder, then this is the little piece you're gonna use. Now, there's a couple exceptions here that they put these couple extra little pieces in that work for a variety of uh, different cylinders, especially the ones that have on the back, instead of a screw cap, they have like that little round spring on them. That's what these are gonna be used for. So, now you can still, if you look here, you can see, um, it still has the ability to be used, you know, to use the little Z bar to make it key retaining or non key retaining. So these are going to be the, the three main pieces that you're going to be, you know, choosing from here. This one is the one that we'll be using today when we put it together. So I'm going to go ahead and just set these other two pieces aside and we'll go ahead and um, put these together. So the first one I'm gonna do here is just gonna be this GMS uh, K001 cylinder. This is just a Schlage 26D finish, nothing special. So it's gonna go, I'm just gonna take it out of the box here. Grab the keys too. And the first thing that we need to do is take off this existing tailpiece because we're no longer gonna be needing it. So I'm gonna use this uh, um, cylinder cap removal tool here. I'll put a link in the notes below in case um, you're not familiar with this. And we'll set that aside. Now, once we have this off, I'm gonna take that tail piece off. I'm just gonna grab this little cap here. Now, at this point, I'm gonna take this little tail piece that came with the K&K &K kit, and we're going to stick it onto the back of um, the cylinder here. Now, when you put these tail pieces on, like there's two options, right? There's one that it can go uh, vertical, and then the other one can go horizontal. Now that's what we wanna do um, for these cylinders is we want it to be um, horizontal like that. So once we have that in place, just like that, okay, we're gonna go ahead and I'll put this cap back on. Now I can't use the cylinder cap removal because this tail piece is in the way. So what I have to do is I'll just use a little multi-pick tool. We'll go ahead and we'll push this down and put it together here. Like that, okay, I think think that's good right there. So now that we have it, we have our key here, let's make sure we don't have the cap on too tight. A lot of times if you were to put this on and you go to twist the, you know, put the key in and turn it and it's really, really tight, that means your cap's gonna be too um, tight. You just need to back it off one or two um, positions there. Or if it's way too loose and you can't get the key out, it means your cap isn't tight enough. But anyway, so once we got that, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna take our little um, Bible piece here and we're gonna stick it on um, just like this, okay? So on the front, you're just gonna see this nice little uh, you know, shiny piece and then on the back, you're gonna see 
the screw, which is where the, um, we'll get to in just a moment here. So once we have it like this, okay, if we wanted to put the Z bar in, that'd be the time to do it. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're just going to put this into the cylinder here. Oh, I have it up backwards there. All right, just like that. So we're gonna drop it in just like that. Now, when we have it like that, we're gonna take you know the screw um, that comes with the padlock here and we're gonna put it in and we're going to you know fasten it to the lock here. Just like that, I can feel it tighten. There we go. All right, now, so we've taken this K001 cylinder, we've put it in there, we can turn it, we can close it, we can go ahead and pop it open, just like that. It's, it's, it's sincerely gonna operate the exact same way as just the normal ABUS cylinder. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and take this off and let's do the same thing with the Ilco cylinder. So we'll take out this screw here. Oop, not quite all the way. All right, now that we have it, we're gonna go and get this uh, tailpiece off the back here. Put that in. Just like that. I'll just go ahead and set this, um, that cylinder aside for a moment. And so we need this piece again. Now I'm gonna take this uh, Ilco cylinder. It's actually the same exact one as the GMS I did, except for you know the Ilco part number is a 15995SC26D. So we're gonna take this cylinder out with its keys. All right, now when you get these Ilco ones out of the box, they don't have, you know, they put a little packet of tail pieces in for you to use. So we've got to do that, but we still have to get this cap off to get the tail piece in. So once again, I'm going to use this um, cap remover here. It makes quick work of it. We'll take it off. Once again, we're going to put the um, Abyss little tail piece on in the, when it's in the horizontal position, not the vertical position like that. So I'll move that back there, set it down. I'll put this cap back on here. Let's see. You know what they say, it's always harder to do on camera, right? Let's see. <clears throat> There we go. Got it started. Pull it down. Put it on there. Back it off one. So once again, now that we have it on there, we're gonna go ahead and make sure the key turns good. It's not too tough. At the same time, we can get the key out without a problem. Once we verify we can do that, we can take this cylinder. Once again, we'll um, grab this uh, cover here. We'll put it on, we'll make sure that that screw that we use to fasten this um, cylinder inside the padlock is on the back by the tailpiece. And we'll take this cylinder here, we'll put it in just like that. We'll take our screw, put it back down in the hole there, go ahead and tighten it down. All right, nice and tight. I like to always put my uh, key in, turn it, make sure everything's okay before I close it. I close it, and there we go. So that is how you take a key, uh, you know, key and knob cylinder and use them inside the Abus padlocks. Now, one of the biggest things I like about this is that maybe you don't want to, you know, can't afford or you don't feel it's wise to stock a whole bunch of different Abus padlocks with a whole bunch of different keyways. So is what you can do is most likely you're already stocking a whole bunch of key and knob cylinders is you can just stock these padlocks um, without cylinder with the key and knob kit and then now you're able to extend that inventory even further all of the key and knob cylinders that you already have. So I think it's a great add-on, it's a great little kit, and I'm really surprised how few people out there really know of it. So I hope this video helps you, and thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.